Hi. What are you saying? No, you're good. I'm just gonna st stand over there. Will you just watch my back? <laughs> hey guys, sorry. You're good, I'm fine. I'll just be right here, Marissa. Hey guys, can you see me okay? Hey everybody, sorry I'm just trying to, first time doing all this, so. Yes guys, we are live at Custer State Park. I don't know what part, we're on the south end of the park right now, but um, just thought this was a pretty place for you guys to see the bison. Let me get up here a little bit higher, get away from all the cars and stuff. All right, there we go. Okay. Ugh. Okay, you guys take a look at that. Yeah. This is beautiful, isn't it? Right? Here, take a look at all this. There's the family right there. Got the crew with me. Got Austin, Marissa, and Brooks is taking a nap. Oh, there's some horses way up there on top of the hill. You guys probably can't see that. Oh, guys, this is beautiful. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Karen said you should have brought your trailer. Yeah, I know, right? That'd have been fun. Just load some up. And I don't know how well these guys would fit in with my group, but speaking of that, they do have a sale. There will be a sale in November. Um, so they'll bring 1,300 bison in, and then they'll eventually. Um, uh, oh my gosh, there's some deer up here. Oh no, those are donkeys. Holy cow. Some donkeys out here, some wild burrows or something is what they call them. Here comes some more horses. These are the horses that are going to be used in the actual roundup tomorrow. The horses will be used and then I will be in a truck. So, kind of a lot going on right now, but anyways. The burrows, okay, thank you. Sweet grass and sage cedar. Yes, thank you. They are burrows. Hey, everybody. If you've never been here before, I've never been here, but guys, this is this is beautiful. It's just absolutely amazing. I wish there weren't so many people, but they're all here for the roundup, of course, like myself. So, okay, so I'll tell you a little bit about uh, what we did. I don't want to be here too long. We're still going traveling around we're gonna go to actually Mount Rushmore here in just a second never been to any of this so um, but quick uh, story of everything today I got to go out and actually see the herd I mean herds this 1300 sorry yeah there's 1300 animals here and so we went out as a media group and we got to go see the bison really up close out in kind of a remote area and um, Got to see where we're gonna be on the trucks and stuff. Got to actually be on the truck and just kind of get a good feeling for that. And then, uh, anyways, with the family, we're gonna go roam around uh, more of the park and just take it all in. So, uh, tomorrow's a roundup, of course. I've gotta be here early in the morning and to get ready for that. And then it'll actually start about nine o'clock is when it starts, so. Um, That'd be super exciting and uh, I won't be able to go live or anything but uh, whenever I get some time and I settle back down and get home and have some time I'll put out the video of the roundup I did go to get to go to Chad Kramers he's the vice president of the National Bison Association he's also the herd manager of these bison of the entire Custer State Park 
such a nice guy. He took me, Marissa, and Austin, and Brooks out to his place, which is just on the east side of uh, this place, Custer State Park. He's right, he butts up fences to him. And uh, we got to go see his herd of like 140. Yeah, he's a super nice guy and um, very thankful for Chad too. So, uh, but here come some horses right now. Chad is actually out here with them, um, showing them around, trying to get in the horses. Oh yeah, sorry, Austin scared me. <laughs> Austin scared me a second. Um, but they're trying to get these horses acclimated to the bison because this is where all the travel starts. And so that's what these guys are out here for. I'm not sure how many bison, are, I'm not sure how many horse riders there are, but uh, there are supposedly gonna be about 18 trucks. And I'm gonna be in one of those trucks. I'm gonna flip this around for you so you guys can see them come through here. Is Brooks waking up? A big bull out there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Never seen country like this before and uh, just very picturesque. And uh, of course, I've seen the dan uh, movie Dance with Wolves, one of my favorite movies that I talk about all the time. This is this is what I pictured it to be like, and it's uh, it's beautiful. It's, it's not Oklahoma, so um, just soak it all in. There is a lot of people everywhere. Obviously, this is like what you see at uh, Yellowstone, all the crowds and whatnot, but uh, you do have to be careful, not get too close to them, but uh, the bison are very calm. Even we went out there with them and, ha and hung out with them. Can't get as close um, as I want to, but... Um, Hey, Ann, thank you, Ann. Appreciate it. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow. That's what I think, too. Um, and so thank you for that. Super chat. Um, it's just nice just to finally be here and uh, be a part of this. So you guys will see, you know, the, the roundup and whatnot. I'll bring it to you as soon as I can. But um, right now we're just roaming around the park and uh, we'll uh, we'll guess guys keep you updated on everything guys thank you for watching and thank you for uh, being a part of this channel this is uh this is bison country here nothing wrong with Oklahoma but this is bison country right here so try to read some of these comments real quick yep super jealous of a lot of you that are South Dakota South Dakotans yeah so Anyways, we're having a good time. Brooks has uh, woken up from her nap, so we're uh, we're gonna head up to Mount Rushmore. Just want to check in with you guys, let you know everything is going great, and uh, just soaking it all in. Give you a couple more looks before I head out. This place will be completely different tomorrow. Herds will be everywhere, running and gunning be a little more insane tomorrow yeah this ain't even all of them this is a big portion of them but uh there's another whole half to them like on the other side probably a mile from here 
there's another large herd of them. They're everywhere. But they do bring them in a lot closer. Uh, so they do kind of round them up and they did that a couple weeks ago so they could get them closer for the actual uh, roundup, the annual roundup. So they have to kind of go out into the park depending on where the bison are grazing and roaming and bring them in a bit closer. Then they hang out here for a while. Then they go through the roundup, work them and sort them out and then they have the sale in November. So lots to learn here. But I love it up here and I'm enjoying it, learning a lot. So we're going to keep going down the road and uh, on this vacation with the family. So thank you guys for watching us live here at Custer State Park. Heavy God's country out here. Definitely buffalo country, bison country right here. Thank you guys.